Welcome back YouTube, it is Two Point Show, coming back with more Idle Heroes content. It is Heroic Summon Week, and we got a brand new hero this week. So, let's dive right into it. And getting right into things, the new hero is Ithaca, I believe. Um, either way, it doesn't really matter how you say it. The only thing is, you know, how good is she? What are her stats like? Her attack is pretty massive, I think. Speed is somewhat decent, but she's really squishy, and everything that I've seen, people don't really like her. This wall of text here basically says she attacks one person every time. You know, that's it. She can bleed them for, you know, more, and she can heal, but her healing's not really sustainable. So, a lot of people, you know, were not building her anyways because it's not the anniversary light and dark hero which is cool you know but i would just recommend not wasting any heroic summons unless if you're super early game because then it doesn't really matter anyways um her second passive or whatever passive skill attack 30 percent crit 35 percent my bad crit damage 50 percent control immune is nice but then you're looking at this third one and it's a wall of text again. And again, it basically says the same thing, but different percentage. So she attacks, you know, for less. Um, and if she kills someone, then she can leave a ghost mark on one random enemy for three rounds. And she increases her armor break. But from what I've seen, the only build is with Kiss of Ghost anyways. So... You really want to just build her for straight attack and get through that anyways. So you're going to, you know, cut through the armor anyways. And her last one, basic attack, targets the enemy with the lowest HP. It does a little bit of damage and inflicts ghost possession. And again, the ghost possession just increases her healing whenever she attacks him again. So it's not amazing and it takes time for her to do healing and you know ramping up bleeding and po or poison or whatever personally i don't think she's good at all she kind of reminds me of shia but like i don't know she's super super squishy um and she could at least attack multiple people kind of you know she could get multiple attacks off but this girl she only gets one and it's like from what I've seen, she dies super early, she does no damage, and it's just like, she looks cool, sure, and she's new, so like, that's all she really has going for her. Um, again, if I could recommend, it would be save your scrolls, at least even next month it'll probably be better, they'll, try, they'll probably bait us with something. But, anyways, getting on to the events, if you do want to summon, you can get some goodies, so I guess there's one pro um last but not least gray dwarf's blessing is it ends this week so make sure to do it i always forget but it doesn't really matter whatever the value packages they it kind of looks like they upped it to me the 120 scrolls for 99 looks nice you know but i don't think i'm gonna spend 99 bucks on this game um outside of that everything is normal maybe in the future i'll have to buy one of those and see what kind of value we get but that's that Anyways, if you summon the new hero, you get gear. That's pretty normal. That happens all the time. Um, interesting. I did, that The screen glitched for two seconds, but her speed looks high and her armor looks really low. But anyways, so we got this going on. Uh, you get Queen for the 200. You get Ithaca at 400. And then you get the Feathers at 500, so it's not too bad. But, I mean, outside of that, everything is the same if you're going, I guess, you know, maybe go for her and uh, try to have fun with the new hero. Um, outside of that, I'm actually more hyped about this because I just think that this is cooler. So, we got Olivia and Aspen. If you need, you know, a copy to 10 star or 6 star, depending on where you're at, Aspen is phenomenal. So, I would say he's kind of worth it. Um, early game, he's amazing. And Olivia's not too bad. She can definitely bump up your boss damage. So she's got that going for her. Not a complete waste. And the coolest thing is the birth of Ithaca. Six star, you get 
Elite 5 Hero, 9 Star, you get Elite Light Star Hero, which is, it's awesome that they're doing this, but it keeps going. At 10 Star, you get Elite Dark Hero, and then at E3, you get exclusive orange artifacts, which again, that's even, even cooler, just for fusing them up. Um, it does take a while, you know, but... If you manage to get all this and then get her to E5, you get 100 Glorious Relics, um, which is nice. The skin shards, I mean, you could get a carry, so it's like, that's cool. But if you're building her up, then you're already going to have it anyways. So, like, you know, I guess there's that. Um, still, the event itself is somewhat cool. I still, I don't think it's worth it. All of this is not... It's not cool. It's not It's not good enough just to figure out that, you know, you just wasted all this money on her. Again, that's just my view. We'll do one summon. We'll call it a day. I'm personally saving um, 16 15 so I'm doing pretty decent. But that is it. Let me know if you guys are spending your scrolls down below. I will not be. I will be saving it. But I have some pretty decent videos planned, I think. So anyways, guys, make sure to subscribe, stay tuned on that, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. This has been Two Point Show. Make sure to stay safe and stay healthy, my guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.